The CEO of BYD has launched an engine that has created a stir in the entire auto industry. Imagine a hybrid engine that runs not only on petrol and not just on battery, but combines the power of both and does such a wonder that other companies are also stunned. This is BYD's new fifth-generation DMI hybrid system, which is not just an upgrade of technology, but a revolution in the world of cars. The most surprising thing is that with this system, once the battery is charged and the fuel tank is full, your car can run about 2,100 kilometers. Can this technology become the biggest threat to Tesla and other EV companies? And will people leave EV and return to hybrid in the coming years? After all, what technology has been installed in this new engine? And why can this new engine shake up the entire EV industry? So before moving ahead in the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can be the first to see such explosive videos. What is this 5th Gen DMI hybrid system? Imagine you have a car that can drink petrol as well as consume electricity, and uses both so smartly that you get great mileage, strong performance, and no tension of frequent charging or going to the petrol pump. This is the magic of BYD's new 5th Gen DMI hybrid system. Now hearing the name you must be thinking what is this DMI? So understand in simple language DM means dual mode, that is technology that runs in two ways, and I means its intelligent system control, which itself decides when to use the petrol engine and when the electric motor. You know, the old hybrid technology often had the problem that either the car consumed more petrol or the range was very limited in electric mode. But, well, fifth generation DMI has almost eliminated this problem. A high efficiency petrol engine has been installed in this system which can drive the car on its own and also does the work of charging the battery. There's a powerful electric motor and a large battery pack attached to it as well. When you're driving at low speeds like in city traffic or just for short distances, this system runs the car only with the electric motor, that means no noise, no smoke and of course fuel savings. But as soon as you need more power like when overtaking on the highway or covering a long distance, this petrol engine turns on and provides power support and also charges the battery. In the old-fashioned hybrid system the petrol engine often ran more and the electric motor just gave light support. But in DMI the game is the opposite. Here the electric motor is the main driving force and the petrol engine comes in a supporting role, which reduces fuel consumption a lot. The petrol engine used by BYD in this has a thermal efficiency of more than 46%, which is a record level in the auto industry. That means the engine uses as much energy as possible from the petrol in driving the car, with less waste. Another special thing is its smart power management system. Based on your driving pattern, road conditions and battery level, it decides whether to drive in electric mode, hybrid mode, or just with the petrol engine. Due to this auto management, the car always runs in the most efficient mode and you do not face any situation that may cause a drop in mileage. Another feature of this 5th gen DMI system of BYD is the size of the battery and charging speed. The battery installed in it is so big that it gives a range of several hundred kilometers even in electric mode only and gets charged quickly with fast charging support. Moreover, even if the battery runs out, you can continue the journey without stopping with the petrol engine. That is the biggest problem of EV range anxiety is almost zero here. If you compare with old hybrids like Toyota Prius or Honda Accord Hybrid, then there the petrol engine remains more active and the use of the electric motor is limited. But BYD's DMI system focuses on electric driving for longer periods of time and turns on the petrol engine only when needed, thereby increasing mileage manifold. This is why vehicles with this system can run for about 2,100 kilometers on a single full tank and battery charge, which is almost unbelievable for any hybrid car today. So, this fifth generation DMI system is much smarter, more efficient, and more powerful than the old hybrid technology. It not only saves fuel, but also gives you the fun of electric driving and the assurance of the range of a petrol engine. This is the reason why auto experts believe that if this technology is launched on a large scale, it can really create a stir in both the EV and petrol industries. This move by BYD is, honestly, a headache for other companies because it's giving customers a practical solution that eliminates both the weaknesses of EVs and the limitations of traditional hybrids. And if this technology reaches the global market on a large scale, then Tesla, Toyota, Honda, and other auto giants may have to completely change their strategy and game plan for the coming years. BYD's fifth-generation DMI hybrid system is just the beginning, but the company's game plan for the coming years is actually quite big and far-reaching. 
Right now, BYD is starting to use this technology in some of its popular series, such as Chin Song Han and Tang models, so that it can first strengthen its hold in the Chinese market. But BYD's vision is not limited to the local market only. The company has made it clear that its plan is to take this technology to the international level. So, the first targets will actually be other Asian countries like India, Thailand, Indonesia, and Malaysia. These are places where, you know, the EV infrastructure isn't fully ready just yet, but folks are definitely showing interest in both electric and hybrid vehicles. In these markets, the 2,100-kilometer range and low fuel cost of this system could really be a direct hit. After that, BYD is planning to look at Europe and Australia, where electric vehicles are already pretty popular but there are still some limitations with battery performance and the charging networks. BYD's entry plan in America is, well, a bit more strategic, mainly because giants like Tesla and Ford are already established there. But if BYD launches its hybrid models in the US at a competitive price, they could become popular pretty quickly, thanks to their long range and low charging dependency, especially in areas where charging stations are still kind of scarce. This technology could even become the first choice for customers. Now the big question is, will this technology really destroy the EV industry? Honestly, the answer is a bit in balance. The growth of the EV industry is still moving fast, but the reality is that a complete electric transition is going to take many more years. People are still dealing with worries about range, charging time, and battery replacement. So, this hybrid system from BYD is kind of a middle path for those folks who want to buy an EV but, you know, they're just a bit hesitant about being completely dependent on electric. Market trends actually show that the demand for hybrid vehicles might increase in the next 5 to 7 years, especially in areas where the charging network is still, well, developing. Customer preference is also, uh, gradually shifting towards more practical options meaning people aren't just going to buy an EV to be green, but they'll want a vehicle that's reliable in every situation. And BYD's fifth-generation DMI really meets this need. Given the pace of technology, other companies will either have to upgrade their hybrid systems or make such a big leap in EV technology that range and charging issues are eliminated. If they are unable to do so, brands like BYD can capture market share in the hybrid segment and slow down the growth of the EV industry. BYD's game plan for the coming years is clear. First, BYD will increase volumes in the local market, establishing a dominant foothold and refining its production capabilities to achieve economies of scale, then gradually expand across Asia and Europe, targeting regions with growing demand for sustainable transportation and evolving regulatory landscapes that favor advanced hybrid technology, and finally enter big markets like the US and the Middle East where consumer preferences for high-performance, long-range vehicles and the infrastructure challenges of full electrification present unique opportunities for this innovative hybrid system to gain traction. If this meticulously planned strategy works well and other companies are unable to respond in time due to their existing commitments to pure electric vehicle development or slower adaptation cycles, then this technology can prove to be a true disruption point for the EV industry potentially slowing its growth as consumers and regulators recognize the immediate practical benefits of a transitional technology that addresses both environmental concerns and real-world usability issues. If you also think that this new hybrid system of BYD will change the game of the auto industry in the coming years by offering a compelling alternative that combines the efficiency of electric drives with the convenience of internal combustion, then subscribe to the channel to get more such explosive updates first, ensuring you stay ahead of the curve with in-depth analyses and breaking news on the latest advancements in automotive technology. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you do not miss the next big update, enabling instant notifications whenever new content is released that could provide valuable insights into market shifts, competitive responses, and the evolving landscape of personal transportation.